Race five, the Eclipse Stakes, over 2,128 metres. John Russell's your caller. Top rating going in, Brian Winner aboard. Kiwi Golfer moves in and waiting for Rover and also Tristalia to complete the line. Hurricane Storm has the pacifiers on, as does, or as does Courtly Qualms. Rover will come up and complete the line. Storm's right out of the saddle momentarily. Cockade, recent winner of the Bendigo Cup. And they look to be ready to go for the Eclipse. Hurricane Storm, the inside runner. Phantom Eagle in two. Yobro inclined to rear. And Gull City. Red moment resettled again. In barrier three, there's the light. They're set and away they run. And the first to jump out, Gull City near the inside from Hurricane Storm. Proposed Toast jumped out well with Cockade and Tristalia showing speed. Yobro coming down the outside with She's So Special being followed further back by Rover as they come to the judge. A lap to go. In behind them, hunted up early in the pieces, Courtly Qualms. Kiwi Golf is in behind them, followed by Shy Stad, Top Rating and Phantom Eagle. And now Cockade has dropped out to last. Racing out of the straight and Sober Suit went fast to take the leader. About a length clear of Tristalia moving up on the outside of Hurricane Storm, followed closely by Storm. Further back then is Gull City over on the inside of Yobro, who's racing up three deep, a length to Kiwi Golfer. They're followed further back by Rover on the outside of Phantom Eagle, a length into Courtly Qualms on the inside of She's So Special. Further back then is Cockade, followed by Shy Stad. Next to last, Proposer Toast, and tailing out to last is top rating. 1,400 a run. Sabre Suit, the pilot, over a length in advance of Tristalier, a length away in the box seat to Hurricane Storm. They're closely followed over on the outside there. Going forward is Yobro, followed by Storm, a length further back, Gull City on the rails, well positioned. Half a length into Kiwi Golfer being followed by Rover moving up three deep two lengths to Phantom Eagle on the inside of She's So Special making ground between horses there is Courtney Qualms a length and a half to Cockade followed by Proposo Toast who's further back in the field and a top rating is last of all 900 metres out and Sabre Suit cutting them along leads a length on Tristalier a length further back is Hurricane Storm followed by Yobra who's never been near the fence close in behind them Storm a length and a half to Rover Gull City over on the inside and they were followed closely by Kiwi Golfer a length and a half She's So Special Courtney Qualms, top rating, shy stander. Further back then, Phantom Eagle and Cockade has got back to last with Proposer Toast. At the 600 metre mark and Sabre Suit, about a half length to Tristalia. They're followed by Hurricane Storm. Round the outside, Rover running on, Yobro. Gull City in behind them, looking for a run as well back as they straighten up. 450 to go, Sabre Suit, the leader tackled by Tristalia. Gull City getting up along the inside, is coming home pretty well. Hurricane Storm under pressure, Rover is down the outside. Sabre Suit is the leader, but here comes Gull City in the centre. Gull City has quickly raced to the lead, clear of Hurricane Storm, the challenger, and they're followed by Sober Suit and Tristalia, but it's Gull City in front with 100 metres left to go. Hurricane Storm is trying hard. Gull City hanging on. Gull City wins it. Gull City is first, Hurricane Storm second, and a good go for third between Tristalia and Cockade, which got through on the inside, followed by Kiwi Golfer, Courtly Qualms. Yobro Storm behind them, Proposer Toast, She's So Special, Shy Stad, and further back in the field then would be top rating, and towards the tail of the field, Sober Suit and Phantom Eagle. Here we are, Gold City from Hurricane Storm. That uh, race from Sandown. And uh, just a bit. And there we are, Gold City from Hurricane Storm. Tristolia, an absolute bolter in at third. On the onside, didn't quite get the timing right. A comfortable court and bold for Bishop. And we now go to Randwick for race six, the RCA Eastern Zone Charity Cup. Was darting through in search of the lead, followed by Pokey's pet, Blue Switch Martinets. Flying Machine is getting up along the fence and will settle down just off the pace. A gap then to Seattle Surf, followed by Master Raider and dropping out last, Royal Warrior. 800 metres out, Best Habit led about three quarters to Dry County. Flying Machine third on the inside of Blue Switch and three deep of Stonebrook Meadow. Two lengths away, Martinets, followed by Master Raider, Seattle Surf and then Pokey. His pet and Royal Warrior to the turn. Best Habit got away a bit more than a length to Dry County, who's travelling comfortably second. Stonebrook Meadow on the outside in the yellow sleeves and cap. On the rail then is Flying Machine, followed by Blue Switch, and the others are well back, headed by Martinets as they top the hill. Best Habit is joined quickly by Dry County, who takes the lead on top of the rise. Flying Machine on the fence, not doing enough. Martinets is right out in the middle of the track. Dry County is clear with 100 metres to go over Best Habit. Martinets coming right down the outside but Dry County is holding them as they get near home and it's a treble to die. Dry County beat Best Habit, Martinet's third, followed by Flying Machine and Stonebrook Meadow, a gap then to Master Raider from Royal Warrior, Seattle Surf and then Blue Switch and last of all is Pokey's Pet. 
Rock County wins the Cup at Randwick as Michael Kapsovitz makes his debut for Australia. Tremendous ovation for this young man. Results of race six. Rock County the winner. For race six, the Rawdon handicap over 1600 metres, your caller is John Russell. Uh, around and over. Super Shaquille moves into his position. Much ado coming up. Now, around and over coming up. Just Sterling to move in. In a musician, followed by Chesham. Hong Kwok Star, Grand Andre coming up. <coughs> in a musician goes in, Chesham one of the last to link in. Chesham moving up. Just Sterling about to come in. Grand Bay is set, Grand Andre moves up, Hong Kwok Star last to go up. Extreme outside, the Holt Welder. Hong Kwok Star coming in. Kaltar on the inside, thank you Hilton. And just about set to go here. Kaltar should go fast in this. He's drawn the inside. Bits fidgety in the stall, Kaltar. They're all in. Haltwelder, second last in the card at Sandown. Standing well. Off and running. Prince Marauding first to jump. Military Supreme has missed it and slow out into Musician. And beginning well towards the outside. Getting away fast out there is around and over in company with showing speed. Just Sterling and Cannibal King being followed by Carl Tar over on the inside of Chesham. Well positioned. Further back in the field to Grand Andre Hong Kwok Star followed by French Halo and Martago. Prince Marauding. Grand Bay is further back and racing deep. A length and a half vertigo being followed by Skyburner Super Shaquilla. Rallines a long way back. A length and a half much ado followed by Military Supreme and last of all into Musician. Around and over is a clear leader at the 700 by length to Just Sterling. A length further back, moving up on the outside is Grand Andre and company with Cannibal King on the rails. Uh, one and a half further back is Chesham, followed by Carl Tar, then Hong Kwok Star. Further back around the outside is Grand Bay, followed by French Halo Martago. Very wide rally in, uh, and a good long gap in the field. Super Shaquille as they straighten up with 450 to run. Uh, it's around and over, getting away a couple of lengths to Just Sterling, Cannibal King on the inside. Uh, then Grand Andre, followed by Chesham, a bit further back, Carl Tar, Hong Kwok Stars down the outside. Grand by and rallying from a long way back, but around and over is kicked away, coming down past the 200. Hong Kwok Star down the outside, running on with Chesham, followed by Just Sterling, but around and over as well, clear in the final stages. Hong Kwok Star trying hard, but around and over will win it, and around and over wins it well from Hong Kwok Star. Good go for third here. Sky Burner and French Halo in a photo, just behind them, Chesham, followed by Vertigo, Prince Marauding, Rallying, Martago, Super Shaquilla, Grand Andre, further back is Grand Bay, Much Ado, Just Sterling into Musician, well back in the Phil Kaltar with Cannibal King and Military Supreme. Around and over the winner there in race six is sand and it could be around and over for the West Indies if they bat well here. It might take uh, an over or so to get himself ready. That's the dividends from Sandown, race seven, around and over, number 12, 42, 20 and 10, 60. There'll be one or two happy people around the country when they see those prices. On Quok Star, 360, and number 10, Skyburner, 370. 12, 11, and 10, the place getters at Sandown Race 7. South yeah. Sydney Juniors, Matraville, RSL Handicap, 1,400 metres. Your caller, John Eater. Thank you, Richie. And Jacobite is the last one to move up into line, so they're under starter's orders at Royal Randwick on a very cool day. Starter onto his stand, has the button and they're ready to break race seven. They're off and there's a nice start. They came out in a good line. Jacobite on the extreme outside is first out. Waku Lash away quickly with Mr. Neslo, followed by Revenge Alman's Joy. Just behind the leading division in rhythm on settling down. The Ducks is trapped out deep. Further back are Deed and dropping out last is Tamerlane in the run to the first turn and Jacobite is allowed to amble across from an outside gate and led nicely over Waku Lash on the inside of Mr. Neslo. Two lengths away is Alman's Joy in the bright green colours. He's pulling hard. Revenge on the fence. Our deed between horses, followed by In Rhythm and the Ducks, who's travelling wide. Tamerlane last of all. Past the 800 mark, Jacobite held together by three quarters to Waku Lash and a half length away and three deep is Mr. Neslo. Two lengths to Alman's Joy on the outside of Revenge. Our deed on the fence being niggled a bit, followed by the Ducks. And then Tamerlane at In Rhythm on the outside has dropped out last as they near the turn. Jacobite with the 
inside running, led narrowly over the grey, Waku Lash. Mr. Neslo's in third place there, well in front of Revenge coming over the rise. The others are a mile back as they top the hill. Jacobite and Waku Lash are together, clear of Mr. Neslo, who's battling a bit, followed by Revenge running a bit of a race. At the 200, Waku Lash and Jacobite, Revenge about to be hooked across their heels. Waku Lash and Jacobite, Revenge is getting home quickly as they get near home. Waku Lash is just the leader and Waku Lash. Waku Lash got there about a long head to Jacobite. Revenge on the outside third and a little bit unlucky. Followed by Mr. Neslo and then Al Man's Joy, followed by the Ducks. Further back, Tamerlane and Ardeed and last of all is In Rhythm. Unofficial winner there at Randwick in race seven, Waku Lash. Plenty of money for uh, that horse today. Here at the Gabba, Sir Mitchley is uh, called Paul Rifle for no balls. Grau is bowl one, four against Rifle's name. Robert Samuels, the batsman. He's the left-hander, Campbell, the right-hander. Dividends at Rambic race seven, Waco Lash number two, three dollars forty one fifty, number eight Jacobite one sixty, number three Revenge two twenty, that's two eight and three.